they made it, made it, made it. It's called three days. We come back, we have an engine failure with Cash Tanks. So, yes, I'm pretty excited to learn about engine failures in Skyhawk. So, what exactly happens? I know any sport for that matter, uh, uh, generally that, is, that has added an end rush to it. People teach about the disasters of it in the first place uh -huh. before they actually, you know, go to the good part of it. Right. So I'm hoping it to be similar. So uh -huh. what actually happens during an engine failure and what it what it teaches. Alright, so when the engine fails, especially in a single engine plane, and unlike an airliner which has two engines, uh -huh. if one fails, you still have the other one supporting you. Yeah. Uh, you know, you can still make a very safe landing with the second one, no problem at all. Uh -huh. There's a super slim chance that both engines are going to quit, and even if they quit, the plane can still glide. Wow. So one thing that you're going to understand, and this is for anyone watching this video, uh, when the engine fails, uh -huh. the plane does not fall out of the sky like a rock. Right. It glides, glides down. It glides right. down. So uh -huh. every plane has got a glide ratio. Now for the Cessna 172, typically the glide ratio is about 1 is to 9. Okay. Which means every 1 mile it loses, uh -huh. it can fly 9 miles of horizontal distance. Right. Alright. So now let's say my engine quits. Uh -huh. What we are taught to do is we, we are taught to follow what is called an ABCDE procedure for engine failure. That's a lot of yeah, so first thing is A for airspeed. Uh -huh. We have to pitch for the best glide speed. Okay. And that's typically be on our POH. Uh -huh. uh, if you look at the checklist, it's going to tell you the best glide speed. Somewhere around 85, uh, you know, to 90 is the best glide, glide speed on this one. Right. On this plane. Uh -huh. So we pitch for that airspeed. Now, like I said, your airspeed can be increased if you just, uh, you know, point it down because gravity is pulling you. There's more wind over the wings. Right, so the best glide speed is the speed at which your plane is going to give maximum range right. with no engine power. B is going to be best place to land. Uh -huh. Most often we have some airport around us where we can put the plane down safely or we're going to have some open fields uh -huh. uh, where we can actually put the plane down safely. So okay. we have to pick the best place to land, okay. use our best judgment, okay this place distance wise is going to be enough for me, it's going to be safe. Okay, usually so what is the distance that you calculate for you to land the plane? Respect for the Right, so one is... In case of emergencies, of course. Yeah, in case of emergencies, one, I will pick something that's the closest. Okay. Because I can always lose altitude without uh -huh. engine power. I can keep circling, right. lose a bunch of altitude. Uh -huh. But with no engine, there's no way I can gain altitude because I need power. Gotcha. So I would rather pick something that's closer uh, so that, you know, it's kind of easy for me to uh, execute my landing. Perfect. Right, so airspeed, B for best place to land, C for checklist. Now we have two checklists. One is the engine startup checklist. Uh -huh. We use that checklist to try to restart the engine and see if we, it can be restarted. Okay. The other one is called the engine shutdown checklist. Now if you cannot restart the engine, uh -huh. you have to shut it down and secure it properly. Okay. The reason we do that is because you don't want the faulty engine turned on when you do a crash landing. Because right. if the fuel leaks, it could catch fire. fire. You have a lot of other things. So if the engine does not start, it's not cooperating, you just quit. You just shut it down. Close it every close every now D is gonna be declare emergency. We tune into one to one point five, which is the emergency frequency. They made a made a made a three days we come back, we have an engine failure with crash landings. Uh, and we give our you know position. This is like how we see in movies. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. So you do that mayday call, that's your yeah. D, declare emergency. Right. Finally E for execute landing. So that's A B C D E, you know, airspeed, best place to land, C for checklist, D for declare emergency, E for execute right. landing. Yeah. Now that you've heard about it, uh -huh. let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay. I'm actually gonna pull back all the engine power. Uh-huh. We lost the engine. Uh, all right. Okay. So it's gonna start gliding down. Uh-huh. First thing you wanna do is pitch for the airspeed, which is about 85. I'm gonna trim it back so that it hits that 85 knots for me. Uh -huh. now I have Mineral Wells Airport close by. I can already see the runway, so I have a safe place to land. That's my best place to land. Right. Right? So I got no engine power. Uh -huh. The engine is just idling, as you can feel it. There's not much of controls. Right. Just idling down. Uh -huh. So I, most importantly is I'm going to get the weather at Mineral Wells. Gotcha. Now remember, you have plenty of time to do all this with no engine power. Right. Not a problem at all. Uh -huh. It's just gliding down. It's not falling down. Right. So we get the weather there. Ability Sky condition clear. Temperature 2, 3 Celsius. Dew point 2, 1 Celsius. Altimeter 2, 9er, 7, 9er. Remarks. Density altitude 2,300. So when is it Wells Airport. Automated weather observation 1250 Zulu. Wind 080 zero, zero, at 0, 04. Visibility 10. Okay, and the uh, frequency for mineral worlds is 12272. 
All right, so I got the frequency, 12272, and the winds were 080, which means the winds are coming from north, which means this runway straight ahead is perfect for us, no problem. Right. All right, now let's say we have a checklist. Uh -huh. We try restarting the engine. Let's say it doesn't work. Uh, nothing is helping us. We have no choice. We have no we choice. Shut we shut it down. Yeah. All right. Now we have uh, our landing spot in sight. Uh -huh. We have to always keep it in sight. Right. We declare emergency. We key in and say Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Uh -huh. Cloud 383 Quebec got an engine failure. We're going to force land in Mineral Wells Airport. Right. Finally, we got to execute the landing. Now, right now, if you see, we are too high. So I'm going to make a 360 uh -huh. to lose some altitude. Right. And I'm also going to call Mineral Wells traffic. Let them know that I'm close by. Minerals traffic, Skyhawk 383 Quebec is about two miles uh, south of the field. We're coming in straight in for runway 31. Minerals. And I'm not using any of my flaps, any of my altitude losing procedures. If I turn on the flaps, I'm going to lose altitude fast. Sorry. But I don't want to do that unless I'm 100% sure that I'm going to make that runway. Sorry. All right, again, remember the throttle is still idling. We still got no engine power. So A, B, I got the best side for landing. Yep. C, checklist, we are done. D is declared emergency and finally we're going to execute the landing. Bye. Mineral's traffic, Skyhawk 383 Quebec is uh, short final runway 31. Touch and go, Mineral's. Mineral's traffic, helicopter 107, up echo 7 miles southeast of Steel. Transition into the west, 2,500 mineral wells. Okay, now I know I'll make the runway. I can use some flaps. He doesn't want to come down. All right. So that's an engine failure. Uh -huh. If you look at it, we actually had plenty of time. Right. And we still had about, you know, three to five minutes to bring the plane down safely, do everything as per checklist, as per procedures. Nothing to rush, nothing to panic. Right.